Hey there guys, welcome to another Train Sim World 2 video. Uh, today we're going to be doing something that's probably quite simple to uh, many of you. But I have seen a lot of questions on, uh, on my channel from a lot of you guys and elsewhere on how to install mods. On this one we'll be going over the Train Sim World 2. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. So first off, we're here on trainsimcommunity.com. That's where a majority of them are going to be placed. Uh, but they're generally going to be a pack file. So that's .pak. So we're going to go ahead and go up here and click on Trainsim World 2. Now, I'd also like to mention this is only for Steam. This is not going to work on console. And I'm not sure how you do it on Epic. I, I use Steam. So uh, there we go. So what I'm going to do is go to Patches. So I'm going to click on Patches. Over here, you're going to see Compatibility. So you've got uh, Epic Games and Steam. So whichever one you are, that's what you're going to want to click. So I'm going to click Steam. And I'm going to install the very lovely uh, Glasgow Cathcart Enhancement Pack, which is right here. It was updated uh, nicely. It's a very good pack. It does ballast, uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and download that. So bam, click it. It's going to start downloading. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the signal flare reduction because they're a bit too friggin' bright, uh, especially on Cathcart Circle for whatever reason. So these are muted quite a bit. So I'm going to download that as well. There we go. Two are downloading. Going to go ahead and open up your file folder. So this is what you got here. Okay. Um, what you're going to want to do is click on your drive wherever your Train Sim World 2 is installed. That's the drive you want to click on. So there you go. Gonna click, uh, not users, gonna click Program Files 86. Go down to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Train Some World 2, Windows No Editor, and uh, let's see, TS2 Prototype. Now, for whatever reason, with the new 4.26 Unreal Engine update, it changed some things and messed some things up. So sometimes you gotta put them in one place rather than the other. But more often than not, it's going to be this way. So again, up here, <clears throat> PC, Windows, C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Trains and World 2, Windows No Editor, TS2 Prototype. Going to click on Content and DLC. Now this is where you're going to put it. So pretty much everything that you have from the main game through Steam is going to be in here, right? So all these are mods up here. This stuff down here, the Windows No Editor, this is default straight from Steam. But anyway, your mods are going to go in here. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Let's make sure they downloaded. Okay, so they are gravy. I'm going to go ahead and bring that up. I'm going to close it just a little bit. All right, so this is the uh, Cathcart Circle Enhancement Pack. So I'm going to click that and drag it to there. Bam. It just popped up. GCC Enhancement Pack. All right, now the Smaller Lens Flare Pack. Got all that. Bam. Now it's in there. All right, so let's go ahead and fire up Train Sim World 2. So, of course, you want to go to, you're going to go to, your icon on your you know desktop steam page whatever go ahead and fire that puppy up and we will see if it changed The new uh, 4.26 update takes a remarkably longer time to uh, get the game started. And I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, it's taken a lot longer now. So any moment. You Jeopardy theme. Yes, this is even on a SSD M2. <laughs> Come on.
All right, we'll go ahead and click through that horrible rendition of a Marvel movie intro that they decided to go with for whatever reason. Going to go ahead and blast through everything. All right, GCC, here it is. Let's see if it worked. Going to go ahead and explore, timetable, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, we'll do something pseudo early day. Nice and sunny. Nice and sunny. Let's see, it is September, so it's a little darker up there. Hold it nice and bright. We'll see. S still not pleased. We'll see. Yeah, we'll do that one. Where was it at? Is that an L or an I? 2L, 2.7? We'll see what it looks like. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. We're in Glasgow. Scotland. And it is different. So this is a very nice enhancement pack, by the way. One of the one of the best overall root enhancement packs. So I can tell right away that it's it's uh been modded and is working because the ballast is kind of like an orangey sandy color instead of the gray. And the signals I can tell the signals are a lot more muted now. They're not as, uh, I don't know, like you got your beer goggles on or something. They they just look a lot more normal. So that's how you do it. We'll do one more. We'll go ahead and exit the game. Which will take like 10 years to reboot. All right, so go ahead and delete both of those. All right, so let's see. We'll do a, uh, we'll do a skin. Um, let's see, because skins are a little bit different. Uh, let's see, Train Some World 2. Now, the difference, legacy skins are pack files. You place them in the same exact manner. Reskins, you can use some weird-ass livery manager that I don't really care to mess with, if you want to do that. I have no clue how to do that. I tried it. It's just, it's too much trouble for you know little payoff so we're gonna go to legacy skins uh let's look at the british let's see all right we want dvd bbd let's go with the strathclyde love this livery so this is the class 314 spt uh, by Shiba. Shiba does a lot of really good skins, and I appreciate Shiba because they're one of the reskinners that makes pack skins and not, you know, the ridiculous skins that use that that software you have to use. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and download it. Bam, it's downloading. Going to go ahead and open the file. So again, I will go straight out, straight out. So click on your drive, Windows, C drive, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Train Some World 2, No Editor, TS2 Prototype, Content, DLC. So here it is. Just going to drag it over. Ba bam, there it is. It popped in right there. Going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to fire the game back up. Be with you in about 28 minutes when it finally launches I could have like edited this but I'm I'm very low budget so I'm sorry you'll have to sit here with me and watch it load I like to count how many times the uh the little circle goes round down there Gotten to like 30 something before. Come on! Today. All 
All right, so I'll preface. Just uh, be forewarned, with a lot of this, uh, the reskins with the pack files... Oh, that intro. Jesus. Talk about cringe. Um, what it typically does is replaces... Uh, Roscoe, what are you doing? Stop. Dog's back there making a myriad of noises. Uh, what this is typically going to do is replace the skins of the entire fleet, if you will, in the game. You're not going to be able to choose. If you want to use the weird, like, you know, Microsoft 3D paint booth thing, then then yeah, you can, you can kind of change. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. It's showing up down here, right? As the Scott Rail, but up here we've got the the OG Strathclyde livery, and as you can see, it's uh, it's orange and yellow. So we'll go ahead and continue. We'll load one in here real quick. Try to go to the same one here. Let's see, was it is that an I or an L? I really don't know. I think it's an I. All right, we'll go back into that one. All right. And there you have it. You can see it has been changed. It is no longer the uh, the Scott Rail. Strathclyde. Legit. But uh, what I was talking about, as you'll see, all the other 314s now are going to have that same livery so if you're okay with that uh pack files are for you when it comes to skins but uh yeah sometimes the modders can figure out ways around you know them them still working uh separately but anyway that's it quick video saw a lot of a lot of questions from you guys wondering about this i'll try and do some more in the coming days uh of you know various things that uh you may want to do to be able to change the game up just from its vanilla standing as much as possible. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Um, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.